Hey, hey, listen to Kay here from Portland's Afternoon News on FM News 101 KXL. And I'm so happy to see you because it's nice to spend time together. You know, Oregon and Washington, both under executive orders. I need you to stay home. I need you to stay healthy. I need you to help save lives. Yes, I am pointing my finger. This is important. And yes, I know this is challenging. And I know you may feel unsteady. I know you may feel confused. Choose to be responsible anyway. Your life, my life, our lives depend on it. Now, I don't usually talk about disappointments when I'm hanging out with you, but I am disappointed. I'm disappointed folks would leave town, get in their cars, travel to other communities and cities. I'm disappointed people would be in tight-knit groups, big groups of young people playing together, high-fiving each other. I mean, it just puts others at risk. It's rude. It's irresponsible. So let's flip that switch and choose to look after each other. I'm always so glad that's what we do right here. Spend a little time, share some stories, share some insight, check on that silver lining. So social distancing. Instead of thinking about it as far away or distant or alone, think of it as creating space space for health, space for quiet, space to think and respond, space to dance, holding space so others can survive, in order to stay home. It's a tough one. We like our freedom. We like to choose. We like to decide. Now I want you to focus all that independence inside your own household and use it wisely. On the flip side, essential workers. You're, you're all essential, but some of us have to come into work no matter what. Your KXL News team, we ain't going anywhere. Plus, I have a letter from Homeland Security to prove I'm essential. Now. My mama says I'm always essential, but uh, she's biased. So I love you, Mama G. If you're working from home, the experts say designate a workspace, even if it's just a sign on the kitchen table for your own sake and your family's sake. Make sure your housemates, your family understand the day's plan. Over communicate in a clear, kind way with your household and definitely over communicate with your team. You still need to nurture collaboration. And technology is so great now. The experts say just use it, use it every day. Schedule daily videos so you have FaceTime with your team, daily calls, maintain deadly, de deadly, no, daily, daily deadlines, milestones. Control what you can control. And that means show up. Do your best work. Be disciplined about your time and deliver grace. Man, everyone has extra right now. So grace and over communicate your way through it. Some joy moments this week and there are many, uh, but we aired a story this week about the dude in France who ran an entire marathon on his balcony the balcony is, it's 23 feet long. It's super short and he just ran back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. His sweetheart was shooting the video to prove it. It took him just under seven hours. He ran to honor the folks on the front lines of coronavirus. And now there are just all kinds of activities happening online to keep our brains stimulated, our bodies fit, our children entertained. Story time with actual authors. Jessica Childress, she's a lawyer, I've interviewed her, and she's an author. She wrote this great kid's book, The Briefcase of Juris P. Prudence. It's about a kid lawyer 
who takes action in the world. Childress is reading live on Facebook, answering your kids' questions, offering insight. Firelight Yoga in Portland, I've taken classes there. It's totally fun, great playlists, great teachers. Now all their classes are online, live, and they're free. So let me know which classes you're enjoying. And namaste. And oh, I love this one. It's an event to actually honor the essential workers. It's easy. It's Sunday, this Sunday at 6 o'clock. It's hosted by Keep Portland Cool. You're going to go out on your porch, step outside your door, and make a whole lot of noise. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you have some legal fireworks and you could shoot them off. It's like a Portland porch-wide, porch-to-porch party. Make some noise for Portland's essential workers this Sunday, 29th, 6 o'clock. I know. It's a tough time. But you got this. You are sturdy enough to feel unsteady. Just let it wash over you. Cooper and I, we've got you covered with all your latest news, local and global. So tune in to Portland's Afternoon News. That's Monday through Friday, 4 to 7 p.m., kxl.com, or on your spe smart speaker, or on your radio, of course. And then keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Pay attention to the silver lining. Get out there and be your best, bold, badass self.